Into the quiet loveliness of the English countryside, we introduce the green-fingered men. Not purple-eyed fugitives from the pages of science fiction, but those men who have the happy knack of being able to make things grow, even under the most adverse conditions. Call them horticulturists, nurserymen, or gardeners, they seem to be able to do with ease all the things that have the amateur practically babbling with rage. No harsh language, however, rends the air at this nursery in Hertfordshire, which specializes in houseplants, the many varieties of which often seem to end up in coffee bars in such tasteless profusion that one practically needs a machete to reach a table. But here, in a setting more suitable than contemporary chrome work and jukeboxes, the plants look really alive. From here, plants are often under the auspices of Royal Horticultural Society exhibitions at home and abroad. These specimens are being displayed in a tree trunk because, like most bromeliads, they are epiphytes and look better in situ. In other words, for the benefit of non-horticulturists, they are semi-parasites which often grow on trees. The leaves of a croton are wiped with a solution containing a little milk, which imparts a healthy gloss. The prices of this plant range from three shillings to five pounds, an indication of the many different qualities. Mr. Thomas Rochford, whose nursery it is, is responsible for more than two million plants under 30 acres of glass. And if that doesn't impress you, perhaps the annual fuel consumption will. It amounts to 6,000 tons. This strange plant absorbs water through its leaves. The roots are only anchors. Over to Sussex now, at the Royal Horticultural Society's gardens in Wisley, where plants are being prepared for an overseas exhibition which will encourage the export of British plants and flowers to foreign markets. Here, rhododendrons are put under cover to retard their progress. One of the most difficult tasks when entering different plants for exhibition is to ensure that they are at their peak on the date specified. Thus, the less advanced plants are hurried along in hothouses prior to dispatch. The rhododendron blooms are wrapped with all the care normally associated with more delicate ones like orchids. All the care that can be taken with plants has really been lavished on these representatives of British plant life. This then is one branch of the export drive where nobody is missing any tricks and things are literally and metaphorically blooming in the best possible sense.